you you doing your child a disservice if you're only favoring one side of them and not the other. Just like the lady said, they can't pick a side. You have right. to understand both sides. You right. got to understand and she both said, sides. I'm going to call it what it is. I love that. Mm -hmm. Call it what it is. What's good, y'all? It's the Dumashats React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today, we are back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. This has been a kind of confusing topic at times with the color, the mix, and, yeah. and who's what. So, you guys have sent this video in. So glad that you did, so that we can learn a little bit more about the mixed race and the color. I hate saying that word. We're going to figure it out today, <laughs> though. We're going to get yes. to the bottom of it in this video today. Yes. So thanks for sending this video in. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road, road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite annoying YouTuber, Wada Maya, right here with three amazing, beautiful YouTubers. Are you all YouTubers? Yes. Sir. Oh, okay. Or filmmaker. Wow. I like to go by filmmaker. <laughs> Storyteller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Vanessa Canby. I am. I was born and raised in Scotland, and my dad's from Ghana, so I'm Scottish Ghanaian. Scottish <laughs> Ghanaian. My name is Marintia. I'm also a YouTuber, storyteller, whichever way you want to take it. Okay. My name is Anna Champon. I've just started this journey. Okay. But oh, a family myself channel. I'm a YouTuber now. Yes, yes, I do. And um, where are you from? Okay, so my name is Water Maya. So I definitely want to go check their channels out. Um, I know family channels can be a little tad difficult to grow yes. and do. Yeah, but but this, definitely this, want to check them out. Yeah, this may have been a while ago, so. I like that they sent us this video because we did ask, you know, for, like, videos that we could check out. Whether we can yeah. get an inside scoop of what it's like to be yes. in Africa as a YouTuber as well. So, yes. This is so, good. guys, y'all know what is so funny? This girl, I mean, I'm not going to say girl, this lady, mm -hmm. the filmmaker. The filmmaker. She looks so much like a friend of mine. <sighs> y'all, just about identical. Just about identical. So much like her. But, but let's continue. Yep. I'm half Accra, half Takra. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for honoring my invitation because I have something on my mind today. I got so many messages from interracial, I mean, kids. You guys are no longer kids here, yeah? but uh, <laughs> interracial kids telling me that they really want to come back to Africa, but I don't know whether people are really going to accept them. Okay. Mm. Vanessa, I'm going to start from you. Vanessa, my question is. Do you call yourself as a black woman or as what? Black woman or what? I call myself mixed race. Although now it's like controversial and people are saying you shouldn't say you're mixed because nothing mixes. Um, but because my mum is from Scotland and she is white, my dad is from Ghana, he's black. If I said I was black, then obviously I'm disregarding the fact that, you know, my mum is white, in my opinion. Um, although, some people seem say I'm black because I'm dark. I mean, in, in Scotland, people are more likely to say I'm black than anything else. They're more likely to say I'm black than I'm mixed race, for example. Yo, this is going to be a tough one. Yeah. It's going to be a, we're going to take a little small bites out of this cookie. Okay, so. Um, first of all, <laughs> she said that, um, geez, it was on the tip of my tongue. Is she's going to be um not acknowledging her mom before she then. said that part i think she said something about um it's something to do about her being black because her dad is black right and, and i feel Scotland. like yeah even if her mom was 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 black and her dad was white she would have still been looked at as black right Here. that's all and i'm, I'm gonna just leave it there i'm gonna Here. leave it there um but i think like in the united states that like that what do you call it 
the definition for us of what black means here, that has to um, come from our constitution. Because if you're a percent, like 1% of black, you're black. But because we've been raised in um, Louisiana, we're from Louisiana, we have been around people of mixed races all our lives. The Cajuns, the Creoles, them two mixing, you know, white and black mixing, um, black and Asian mixing. Like, we've been around these type of people all of our lives. And from experience, they would say that they're black, but they will also mm. say I'm mixed. Yeah. But the one that they would go with would be black. Right. If they're, especially if their skin tone is darker. Right. But that's just like the United States. And again, that's from the the creation of the Constitution. But a, a black woman with a black, with a white man or vice versa can still give off a, a child who looks predominantly white. Right. 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 Definitely. Um, and then and you have these... Um, because I've seen it. It's I've a seen slur it word. It's a slur word, but um, <sighs> mulattoes. Mm -hmm. Look at the um, the 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 rapper. How she changed her name to Lotto because a lot of people wasn't agreeing with it. But in her eyes, she was saying that, "Hey, my dad's black, my mom white. I'm both of them. This is this is what they called me back in the day." But because it's such a negative connotation that comes with it she changed her stage name to just lotto so I it's, it's kind of i feel like they shouldn't have to pick a side right they are who they are they are who they are right but i just say i'm mixed race because i know that also a lot of black people are offended if you say you're black and you've got white in you so i just stick to what it is really what about you um it's difficult because i can't pick one like you said because you can't just say you're one race when you clearly have a parent from a whole other place. Mm -hmm. But I will definitely say you can relate to one half more, mm. depending on how much time you spend, depending, you know. I've spent more time in Again, college. again, <laughs> you got to take small bites of this. Yes, you Because take you can, bro, like, they have some black young boys and girls who are raised in predominantly white environments, and then they are more, you know, they're more comfortable around white people than they will be black people mm -hmm. you know like you, you know what i'm saying it's yes like, and and that's where they go wrong at there was this story that went viral on tiktok um a, a white mom was basically calling for help and she received a lot of oh, negative feedback snap. from it because she wow. you know she had a child with a black man but her and that man didn't work out the man wasn't in the child's life and she lived in the city that don't have a, a lot of black people or yeah. any black people. It's yeah. like a small town, I, I think. And I, I want to say it was Texas. I'm not sure. But um, she was basically calling for help because her son was saying that he was his skin is dirty or something like that. And he wants to be white. And the thing with that is, like, I feel like it's up to the parents, regardless mm -hmm. of which side you're on. You have to make sure that your children are raised around both cultures of who they are. Got to clean you that up. Have to expect, and I don't want. I don't want to like. I don't want to no. create a debate, but especially when your child is half black. I mean, being black is not easy. It it, it creates a psychological trauma. It does within that child growing up because that confusion does happen at some mm -hmm. point. That they're wondering to themselves. Who am I really? Because, man, I've seen a lot of TikTok videos of not even young adults or teenagers, but the babies as well. Right. They would look at their, t their skin tone, their dad would be black, and they would be white, and they'd be like, what, I'm, what am I? Right. And they would be real confused at that. So, right. I mean, it's just... You, you're doing your child a disservice if you're only favoring one side of them and not the other. Just like the lady said, they can't pick a side. You have right. to understand... Both sides. You right. gotta understand you say, both I'm gonna call it what it is. I love that. Mm -hmm. Call it what it is. I've grown up in Ghana. She's so, fair, though. Even though I'm both, and I like both, depending on which part of my life I'm in, I relate to one more, but I would definitely say growing up here, I relate more to being Ghanaian than Japanese. Than Japanese. Yeah. What about you? Well, for me, I identify as black because I was raised in the Netherlands and they will always make me know that I'm not white. So I identify mm, as a black woman. That's hard. Coming to Ghana, I feel very white. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm, oh, that's, I, I'm that's, that's different. That's yeah. hard. Oh, why do you feel in Ghana? Well, they they always call me Boni mm. to start with, and then because maybe uh, my auntie uh, like when um, when I came here, she said I needed to come to her house and greet her and all that. But I was busy, so I did that a little later. Mm. And then she says, "Well, that's not custom, but okay, you're white, so I'll leave you wow. to that." So. Yeah, it's it's difficult. It's difficult. Bruh. You know, I, I, I just want to know, bites. yeah? The struggles being a mistress, okay? I, I just want to know because I, I've interviewed a young kid who never felt like, okay, why are my own Chinese people treating me this way? Because this lady, this small girl grew up in China, you know, and she felt like she's not wanted in China. So I met this girl and she even wanted to go home with me because she felt like, oh, wow. I've seen one of my own. Yeah. I just want to know. Do all of you feel that way when you're growing up or something like that? Yeah. Yes, for me, yes. For you, yes, how? Because they will always make you know that you're not one of them. Like, growing up in the Netherlands, I was in a very wide school, and there were even incidents when one kid pushed my head to the ground to see, like, the difference of the skin color. And what? he always say, oh, you you can't play with us because you're black, or you can't play with us because your hair is curly, or we have this very racial, uh, racist festival, festival or festivity where it's like Santa Claus and they call it Santa Claus where Santa Claus has black helpers who are very jolly bubbly and very stupid to be honest and then they will always say that oh now it's time to celebrate you don't have to color your face because it's a black person they color Yo. their face or they say oh wow. you have curly hair already you don't need a hat and ah breathe let it breathe for a minute hold up hold up you know, it's like, if you have, like my wife said, 1% black in you, it's going to show. Whereas in your lips, your Some, features, okay. your body, your hair texture, you know what I'm saying? And then you may see, I'm going to say it, they have some white woman who had black, a black parent, and their features give off black. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then, and, and it's so weird, because then the black woman would be like, you know she you, 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 like you know what I'm saying they'll be like look how she trying to be like us and this that right. and the third but she grew up around that right her, she probably was around right. her dad more than she was a white mom mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so it, perfect that, example that's Go, oh, that, I, no, I perfect go, example that's of this is um when people think that something is a, cu a cultural appropriation like um I don't know if y'all know this lady well she's viral but on TikTok, there's <laughs> this lady from, <laughs> from Houston. She's a white lady. Um, I think her name is TikTok Mama or something like that. And um, she's from Houston. <laughs> Everybody knows the culture in Houston, right? And um, they don't. a lot of people don't like the music that she listens to or the mm, way she dances the or the way she, they say she acts. Yeah. But she grew up in Houston. She's married. I don't know what her husband, I don't know the ethnicity of her husband, but I seen a video of her at a party and all of the people there was black. That's her family. Like, she's a white woman, but I, I so her husband has to be black. Black, so, right. Something like that. But he, he kind of looked Mexican too, so he may be both. You know, right, that's right. that's normal in the South. Oh, that's real normal. And it's not culture appropriation because she grew up in that. Right. And even married into it, you know? So it's just the dynamics of life. People just need to have these conversations more to understand each other more. I feel like this is going to be a long video. We still in the beginning. Yeah, we about to be here all day. But it's not <laughs> fair, though, at some point, because it's like, how can she grow up in a house with a white mother? Mm -hmm. And she's looked at as black. But then she look at her mother, who's shown her all this love. Right. But then her own people are rejecting her. Mm -hmm. That is a psychological damage it at is. some extent to that it child is. because that child starts to start questioning who they are. Mm -hmm. Like you said, they start looking at themselves, be like, "Man, what the heck going I'm on? Dirty. Like, I'm dirty for real. Like, that's child. They, they did a mistake. People pay they think for that this. They are adopted. You know what I'm saying? So they pay for this. I I, <laughs> I love I love my skin. Like, Man. So yeah, I was always no being known that you are black each and every day. They would, somebody would tell me that yes, you are black. Yeah. I feel like I I don't. I mean, I definitely had racist experiences, but they yeah. weren't as direct as yours. Yeah. You know, people weren't literally telling me every day. I mean, when I was maybe seven, somebody said I looked like poo, but it was like really? a kid. Like you know, they were maybe five. Yeah. 
was a child. It right? was a yeah. child. I mean, I was a child. Yeah. So like from then I knew, but before that, obviously everyone was white. Everyone apart from my dad, who I saw every day. But you, I feel like you see? don't see like the color of your parents. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. right. And then my sister, obviously, is the same as me. But apart from that, every all my friends at school were white. So like I never looked in the mirror when I was a kid. So I just presumed I was just like them. And then I remember we were doing a coloring like exercise. Pause. Because as children, we don't see these things. Mm -hmm. We're taught these things. Right. We are taught hate. We're taught hate. We're taught prejudice. We're taught um, how to act and be around certain people. We're taught what friends to pick. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, we're taught these things. So right. I understand what she said. I didn't have to look in the mirror to look at these people to feel like I was one of them. Mm -hmm. Because she's not taught to reject these people. Right. So we need to teach parents of the new age need to teach their children better mm. like just because somebody is different from you does not make you better than them at all right i was looked at my skin and i was like i'm not that peach that they're calling skin color you know? yeah. <laughs> and then i tried to mix white and black and it made gray and i was like well that's not me either <laughs> but i feel like as a oh, wait, wait. person it's Let's give it up to Crayola. Crayola, bro. Colors. <laughs> Some of the boxes in the cutter. Oh, bro. A completely different experience from being black, in my opinion, because yeah. when you're black, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but obviously, I don't know if everyone feels like this, if you guys feel like this, but I feel like you're not torn, but it's difficult sometimes to know exactly where you stand. I think it's very difficult. It's yeah, very difficult. 100%. Yeah. I always said, like, when I was younger, because I have quite a number of biracial friends, both Japanese and Ghanaian. Mm. So when we were, like, kids, I used to say we should just get an island and fill it with Japanese oh. Ghanaian people. Because mm. we're very angry. Well, we're annoyed because when you go to Japan, you're black. Yeah. So then you're a foreigner there. You come back to Ghana, then you're, like, Chinese. Wow. I'm not even Chinese, but you're Chinese automatically if you're Asian. Okay. So, like, when you're a kid, it affects you more. Like now when I get called a brony, it's like, ah, you know, it's normal. It, it comes and goes, especially yeah. once you talk to them, they see you have a Ghanaian accent, you can communicate with them, then they're like, oh, she's one of us. Mm -hmm. But then when you're a kid and someone calls you a brony and they're not calling the other kids a brony, then it affects you more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I mean, I've never I'm had different. an experience as intense as yours, I will say, like, even in Japan. You know, um, personally, I'm just going to say this. If I meet you mm -hmm. in town, I will never know that. You are not one of us. Mm -hmm. I, I think we should do this experiment. I wish we can get some people around here. Yo, c can you, can you? You know what's crazy? Um, if you guys saw my mom, y'all would know that she's black from her features. You know, mm -hmm. she's a beautiful black woman. But my mom is lighter than all three of those girls. <laughs> mm. Mama is very light. So it's, it's being black <laughs> coming in the all these law. different shades. It's, it's crazy. And my grandmother is like a, she's like a, a, a silver caramel color. <laughs> Shout out to yes. her grandma, And, man, and my real. other grandmother. I like she's red. Yeah, red. Like, I don't know. It's it's crazy. Like gold slash red. Like, I don't know. It depends on, how I, I guess, the hair color she had going yeah. on at that and time. Yeah, and then mixing me and you, our children came out light. Really, though? <laughs> Lighter than really us. Really light. No, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy because <laughs> our daughter has the same um, complexion as her brothers, but her body is darker. Right. So, genetics. I, genetics. One hundred percent genetics. And you come, come, come. You, you can come, come together. It's okay. Feel free. You, you all should come. Look at this woman, yeah. Put and people tell on me the spot. Where you think she's from? Mm, she's definitely a mixed race. Definitely a mixed race. Yes. Oh wow. Oh, well, what about her? Yeah, if I see her, I would say she's Chinese. Oh, Ni Hao? Ni Hao. Ni Hao. No, no, go, go one minute. I feel like why he won't be one to say that. Mihau. Mihau. One minute. Funny. Just one minute. Oh, what about her? Yeah, I see her as uh, someone from Ethiopia. You're from Ethiopia? I've never oh, heard that Ethiopia. before. Oh, Ethiopia. Sister, bra, 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 bra. Yeah, minka brofana minka chi. Okay, hi. My name is Maya, yeah? Dora, look at this beautiful lady and tell me where you think she's from. <laughs> it's okay. No, feel free. Just say anything you want to say. Utopia. 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 Okay. Wow. Yeah. yeah. She does. What, what about kind her? Of like kind of. <laughs> what about her? her she, you, you know her. Oh, okay. Yeah, her ass. Oh, what about her? 
Y'all from America? Wow. Hey, oh, okay. <laughs> but she looks like it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So she much. does, yeah. See, so this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. We have African women that are light skinned. Yeah. yeah. When I see a light skinned lady and seeing you, I don't think there's any difference. I mean, Vanessa, if I don't know you, I would definitely know that. Oh, that, that my ex girlfriend, that was like light skin color. Yeah. <laughs> For me, I, I believe that it's time. Maybe you guys can claim being an African woman. Yeah. Or you don't, or you don't think so? I mean, more I definitely, like, personally, if someone asked me, are you Ghanaian, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. But it's, I guess it's a matter of other people. For them, they can think what they want, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about because I, I'm doing this video based on the uh, messages that I've been getting from mixed race people who are trying to move to Africa. Yeah. They're asking me, are they gonna be welcome? Are people gonna accept them? Uh, are we gonna feel like you people are one of our own? So I want to know, like, do you guys feel at home in here? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Like, yes. I feel more at home here yeah. than I do in Scotland, yeah. and I was born and raised there, and I've never lived here. <laughs> So, you know, I've just come yeah. for a visit, um, but people, it might also just be the people are so warm, welcoming, and yeah. just like different from from like the UK. Uh, people talk to you on the street, they speak their mind. I just really like that. Mm. Um, and also, I don't know, I just feel like, I guess in the UK, I'm obviously like darker. So <laughs> nobody's going to think I'm white. So here, I just feel more at home. Yeah. Mm. You agree, yeah? So, I, I, for me, I want to say thank you so much for talking to me, but you guys are not going anywhere. Um, one more question, yeah? I got Africans in the diaspora who have some kind of hate. I don't know if you guys have received this kind of hate from people in the diaspora. I mean, Africans, you can talk about African Americans. I mean, Africans that were born out of Africa, that they have so much hate for interracial kids and even interracial couple yes, do you guys have yes. you've got that hate before yes, yes. you feel like don't call yourself an african don't they, call they yourself... say that why why did i marry kevin why didn't i marry a black person okay i could have rather have black kids or stuff mm. like that yeah i get those messages you, you also get those yeah. messages every day people are like go back to She's where married. you came from I'm what like, hang on a second right you were born so in my dad, yeah i was born in school my, my dad's gonna end so where you know what I mean yeah, why can yeah. I not be here and yeah. um, but that's not gonna end saying that you know what I mean it's not yeah. it's definitely not people from Ghana and yeah. um, it's people from from the diaspora and they also just a lot of them don't don't, believe in it. don't you think that our parents never knew all these things because you know when I was growing up yeah what I know is that when you travel out there and you bring a white woman or maybe an Asian woman to the house they praise you for coming home with hey uh, the guy has made it in life he came with a white woman or <laughs> that's that's our culture so i don't think people should blame our parents for that or, but i think it's you know i think they're a little bit lost you know mm. those africans born or raised outside mm. when they come home and mm -hmm. they learn about the culture and all that they'll forget the mindset but i think Every all quick. that what happened in slavery or whatever Maybe it's still in them, and that's why they hang on to their blackness so much, and they only want to date black or think that everything black is only. But we are all people. I mean, we all bleed the same blood. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. if you mix your your heritage with another heritage. I think it's only beautiful. Yeah. So. And you know what? At the end of the day, she is right, but it's all about what's being poured into the people. Right. You can't have a a, a racist married to a black panther it's you know what i'm saying it's like the mindsets <laughs> are going to clash so yes. it's all about what's being poured into the people if what's being poured into the kids at a very young age like you were speaking of earlier if something's being poured into them to have them help them understand the races the people and how to treat each people and really view them they'll understand how to love them as well right i think our um our perspective is more welcoming Mm -hmm. Um, in Louisiana, and of course, you know, it's it's kind of crazy because, you know, Louisiana was the deep south. A lot of hangings and a lot of, you know, cultural clashes and racial bias and racism has gone on in the south. But I also think Louisiana, although we've had that, we have a lot of interracial couples. Like, yeah, I have cousins, first cousins, um, 
who are mixed, black and white. Mm-hmm. So it's it's just, I mean, it's your preference. Yeah. I feel like other people's marriages, other people's dating life is not anyone's business. Right. Some people's opinions don't need to be spoken on. Like, they just right. need to keep that to themselves. And I don't know if, like, you experience this, but when you live in the U.S., African Americans don't really interact with African people. Mm. And it's really, it's the weirdest thing to me. Because That's a stereotype. Mm-hmm. That's a stereotype. That's a stereotype. <laughs> it is. It is. It's, oh, really? It's like the weirdest thing to me because you're already a minority, mm-hmm. as they say, right? Being a black person. But within that black community, how can you not get along when you're both... Yeah. Exactly. So that's weird. But then color. in the school and in every like state, African Americans and Africans, they're quite separate. Mm. Wow. They don't get along that well. So. <laughs> leave a comment. Leave a comment. Okay, Crazy. we have had multiple conversations, multiple, multiple, multiple conversations about Africans and African Americans. Um, I've never experienced that. Which I, is I have of. never experienced that. I do know that there was a person who came in the comment section who said that they spoke as an African. They spoke to African Americans thinking like, hey, we are part of the you know same lineage or whatever. Mm-hmm. And the African Americans didn't speak back. That is a, that's a stereotype. You can't take one experience or a few experiences and put it for the whole 50 states. You just can't do that. In Texas, where we currently live, there's a huge population of Africans. We was just talking to Africans today. (laughs) We live by Africans. So it depends on the person. It I feel like because there's such a, a such a divide, that's why we have this stereotype. But that is why there's channels like the Democrats React yeah. to bring unity, not just amongst the diaspora, but the world. Yeah, well, you don't have certain experiences in life that creates mental block, and you will never be able to have a connection with a person until you have a real authentic experience and then when you had that experience, you can't be prideful or egotistic right. and think that this is a weird, this is not supposed to be happening. I mean, you got to let it happen. You got to let it flow and try to understand the next man or next woman. Right. And one more thing. You cannot take experiences that you have in school and run with that. That is underage yeah. children yeah. who creates the, the stereotype. Yeah. Is... Adults going around saying African booty scratcher? No. If there is, they said it in public. <laughs> right, that's, that's childish. <laughs> yeah, they didn't, put, they didn't put it out there. What she's saying is true. I have never been there, but um, I've had that experience way back in China where I had a, an African American classmate and I called him an African and he nearly beat me that day. You know, that was my first time. Yeah, he nearly beat me for calling him an African. He's like, never call me an African. And that was my first video that I did what Africans think of. African American and vice versa is because of that experience. So you telling me this? Ooh. I mean, I've wow. heard it before, but I never knew that it's real. So thanks yeah. for telling me. So leave a comment if something like that is really happening. Um, your final messages before we leave here. Thanks, for being such a Maya for president. President. Oh, well, women president. Yeah. Women president. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can drink to that. Yeah. yeah. So, but on a serious note, I think that um, whatever your skin color is, mm. if you have any blackness in you, just come and try. Stay in Ghana. Just even, yeah. even if it's for two days, or it doesn't have to be Ghana, but just come to Africa and experience Africa. I think that's the best thing for anyone black. Yeah. 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 Have, okay. I would say that like I have friends that are half Japanese, half Ghanaian that never grew up in Ghana, so they don't know anything about Ghana. And I will say, from people that have lived here, not lived here, growing up here definitely gives you an entire different experience of feeling at home. Wow. Like you will never get that even being half Japanese living in Japan. There's just something about camaraderie in Ghana that you just won't get anywhere else. Yeah. Okay, so I believe that they're gonna, you know, just they're speaking to mixed people too. Come experience Africa. So we're going to stop facts, the video facts. right there. Um, <sighs> Did I, you get enough of those cookies and crumbs and everything? Did you get a few bites in? Yes. 
this video is honestly harder than the videos that where we talk about Africans and African Americans. And of course, Dion and I we're not mixed. Um, my grandmother, my my second great grandmother, um, was a Garifuna in Honduras, married a black man from New Orleans. I had my great grandmother who is still here with us and that's i have that but as for me and you we black <laughs> right 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 you know? um, right right you know they have these names where you say you know um oh he's a she's a people person he's a people person these type of people are the ones that actually are open and transparent to mm -hmm. know and understand other walks of life you know what i'm saying you got people that are i guess they're extroverts or introverts the one who just like like it's extroverts right Quiet ones? Yeah, introverts. Yeah, introverts. 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 They like to chill, not to, you know, mango too much among people, you know, get from A to B. And that's it. That doesn't mean they don't know or want to know different right. walks of life. They just like to stay to themselves. But at the end of the day, I think it is what it is. People are going to be people. We do and create so much mm -hmm. in this life that yeah. if we wasn't doing that, there would not be half the stuff that you see today. So Right. Definitely. Um, I was very, very surprised um by the remarks that they made about the netherlands mm. japan and where scotland. Are the scotland yeah very surprised by that because so. we have reacted to a lot of content in those three areas and we've received like warm welcomings about learning their culture and because of that because we know that we have supporters from there i would like some of those uh, everybody to tune in but specifically like you are if you are from there the uk europe in those areas that we spoke about that i just listed let us know your thoughts on this because that was experiences that they had there and i was just surprised by that yeah i think it's more so street yeah because i feel like everybody on our channel you know what I'm saying? They cool. They know what's up. They vibe yeah. with us. They have a likening to us. And they have some people that just never heard of us. So I feel like right. it's like more so school, more so street, right. more so, you know, just the life of certain areas where people are just like that. I mm. mean, you can't knock that. that. That's everywhere. You know what I'm right. saying? All right. So this was a... This yeah, is again, good, bro. It's a good table talk. Yeah, it's very good. But because we're not mixed, we we don't have no personal experiences right. to share with you other than the experiences we already shared. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way. As well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Check out the description box below to send in your reaction requests and we'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.